Hello and welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin on Wednesday, April the 7th. I'm Anna Blackaby. Cider is back in the news today after the government announced it was backtracking on its plans to increase tax on the drink by 10%. Cider makers in the region have hailed the decision, describing it as a stay of execution for the sector. Counties like Herefordshire and Worcestershire are big producers of apples, and the region is home to cider firms like Bulmers, Aston Manor Brewery, and a host of small-scale craft makers. Price is a sensitive issue for cider makers, as a pint of cider typically costs around 20 to 30 pence more than a pint of your average beer in the pub. And with a 10% tax on top of that, the price difference would widen even more. So it's no surprise that cider makers in the region are today toasting that decision. Meanwhile, in other news, the UK service sector has seen employment growth again for the first time in almost two years. The Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply said business services firms in fields such as IT and computing had driven a small rise in jobs in March for the first time since April 2008. But it was mainly large and medium-sized businesses which saw the growth. Small firms continued to lay people off. Well, that's all from me today. See you tomorrow for another Business Bulletin. Wow.